When Nixon visited China, the bamboo curtain lifted. On February 21st, 1972, Nixon was hosted at a banquet by Premier Zhou Enlai in Beijing's Great Hall of the People. And live on national television, Americans saw him eat real Chinese food. And they salivated. Raising a toast, you know, he drank that very powerful Chinese wine called um, Mao Tai. It's like 120 proof kind of thing, you know, if you ever take, it's like jet fuel. <laughs> It sort of sparked a trend, I think, in terms of uh, all things Chinese. Right after Nixon visited China, I got so many phone calls. And they said, can you duplicate Nixon's dinner? Suddenly, all these Chinese restaurants had lines outside the door. It ushered in kind of the golden age of, of fine Chinese cooking in the United States. The first Sichuan restaurants and the first Hunan restaurants and the Fujian style restaurants. All of a sudden, here came this wonderful, well-seasoned food from the cooler regions of China. And this stuff tasted great to us. But this one dish just stuck out. 